If your Gigabyte Control Center, GCC, isn't working as expected, the first thing you should try is restarting your PC. It might seem like a simple step, but sometimes rebooting can solve minor glitches or conflicts that might be causing GCC to malfunction. If restarting doesn't do the trick, try running GCC as an administrator. Right-click the app and select Run as Administrator. This ensures the program has the necessary permissions to function correctly, which can help resolve certain issues. Still encountering problems? Make sure your Windows operating system is up to date. Go to Setting, Update, and Security, Windows Update, and check for updates. Running an outdated version of Windows can cause compatibility issues with applications like GCC, so it's always a good idea to keep your system current. If everything is updated but GCC is still acting up, the most effective fix is often complete reinstall. First, go to Control Panel Uninstall Program, find GCC and uninstall it. After uninstalling, restart your PC to clear any leftover files or settings. Then visit Gigabyte's official website, find your specific motherboard or laptop model, and download the latest version of GCC. After installing the new version, restart your computer once again to ensure everything is set up properly. Another important step is to check your drivers. Outdated or incompatible drivers, especially for your chipset or GPU, can cause issues with GCC. You can update your drivers through Device Manager or download the latest versions directly from Gigabyte's website. Also, if you have other RGB or system control software installed, such as MSI Dragon Center or Armory Crate, these can sometimes conflict with GCC. Try uninstalling any other system control apps to see if that resolves the issue. If the app still isn't working, try running GCC in compatibility mode. Right-click on the application, go to Properties Compatibility, and select a previous version of Windows, e.g. Windows 10 or Windows 8. This can help bypass any compatibility issues that may be affecting the application. If GCC keeps crashing, open Task Manager, Control plus Shift plus Escape. Find any running processes related to GCC and end them. Afterward, try restarting the app to see if that resolved the issue. As a last resort, you could try resetting or reinstalling Windows entirely, but this should only be done if everything else fails. Before going down that route, make sure you backed up any important files, as a fresh installation will erase all your data. If you're encountering a specific error message or unusual behavior, let me know the details, and I can guide you through more targeted troubleshooting steps.